Hello, I'm Celia and I'm making bigoli dalama, which is bigoli with duck ragu. Celia lives in Hockley, England, but her family come from the Veneto region of Italy. She uses 225 grams of zero zero flour, 75 grams of semolina flour for bite and two duck eggs. These yolks give the pasta a nice yellow colour. She wants a stiff dough. Wetting your hands is a good way to add small amounts of water to the dough. Celia kneads the dough until it is smooth. Then she rolls it into a sausage shape. The cling film stops it from drying out while it rests in the fridge. Celia has roasted a duck. Skin. She's going to have later. <laughs> Thank you. She removes the meat for the ragu. She makes a stock using the bones, celery, carrot and onion, a bay leaf and the roasting juices, all covered in plenty of water. And then you leave that to simmer for two hours until all the, you know, the residue meat falls away from the bones. And then that's strained off and then that's your brodo. To make the ragu, Celia grinds the duck. Spoonful of oil. She softens more onion, carrot, and celery in olive oil. I've got more relatives in Italy than I have in England, um, cousins, and uh, so um, we get try to get them all together and we all eat together. Then she adds the minced meat, followed by a glass of dry white wine. She chops up a mixture of rosemary and sage and adds this to the ragu, along with a ladleful of stock. While this simmers, Celia makes the bigoli using a bigolaro or hand-operated pasta press. Traditionally, these gadgets are attached to a bench to help women turn the handle. Celia adds the dough to the tube and forces it through a bronze die. She snips the strands at 30 centimeter intervals. Bigoli can be different sizes. Celia's are 2.5 millimeters wide. The pasta strands are like fresh spaghetti. They are typical of the Veneto region of northeast Italy. She tosses the pasta and semolina flour to stop it sticking. Celia adds the pasta to the stock. It has to cook for around 10 minutes. While it simmers, she grates some Grano Padano cheese produced locally to her home near Vicenza. She has a trick to find out when the pasta is done. Okay. Right, there we have it. The gluten's risen from the inside of pasta, particularly and it's stuck to the surface, so this is nearly ready. She finishes cooking the pasta with the duck, along with a spoonful of stock. Celia sprinkles over lots of Grana Padano cheese. Now uh, the pasta is ready. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.